Okay, I um I wanted to make a police report and I was not allowed to make a police report. So I wanted to see if I could make a police report now. So I was uh I was reading up on uh, what occurred. Uh, I don't know which day it was. I think. Who are you to begin with? Who's calling me? This is <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. My dog was barking. What's your name? Just a second. Pipsqueak, come here. Sit down. Okay, what's your name? Officer Herman with the Stockton Police Department. Officer Herman. Okay, Officer Herman. So I was reading up on a little bit about the call. Um, it happened on the 25th of November. Your landlord showed up at your house. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. H Hello? Yes? Hello? Can you can you hear me? He Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, your volume's really soft. But yes. Okay, so I uh, was just talking about uh the call that you called about about your landlord showing up at your house. Mm, that wasn't what I called about. I called about him refusing to leave after he was told to do so and being in an area that he wasn't, that we had agreed that he wasn't going to be. Okay. And he is the owner of the, of the house, correct? He is the owner, and according to civil code, he's supposed to give proper notice. Yes, and that is correct. He is supposed to give proper notice uh, when showing up your house or when doing anything at the house, when, especially when it's a landlord-tenant type of issue. So here's, you know, I don't know what other officers have told you, um, but the police department and uh, police officers, we handle with criminal issues, and uh, sometimes we deal with, like, um, health issues, but mostly we deal with criminal issues. So, so under, under the civil code, you are correct. He is not supposed to show up at your house. That is 100% correct. But when it comes to law enforcement, uh, we're unable to, to enforce those types of things. So you're going to have to go down to the courthouse and uh, make a lawsuit against him because it is a civil uh, issue and it's a civil crime. Well, according done. to the, the courthouse, I have to have a police report in order to get a restraining order. And according to the criminal code, uh, 602, I what is it, 602.7 or 602.2, criminal trespass is defined as someone uh, uh, refusing to leave uh, a premise after being told to leave repeatedly, and you know, after being told to be once to refuse to leave, and he does not have rightful possession of the property. So at that point, it goes from being civil law to being criminal law. And the thing is, I need to have my due process rights, my rights under the Constitution, to present my evidence forth. And to do so, I need to be able to make a report. And I have not been allowed to make a report. So um, I understand that sometimes uh, it is a civil matter. But without looking at the evidence, I don't see how that can be determined, whether it's civil or whether it's crossed the grounds into criminal. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not sure that either you or I have the expertise to de determine that. I would think that that would be more the dominion of um, an attorney or a judge. So, yeah, it, with these types of issues, uh, we usually um, refer you to an attorney or something like that because these types of issues are handled civilly. Uh, when it comes to 602, Penal Code 602, it is misdemeanor, so we would have to see them uh, in that presence to make an arrest, and effect an arrest. I have a video. So, okay, but we still need to, to be there. So... To see them do it. Uh, so we, actually, offer, that's, that's not what the code says. I, I've read the statute, and it, it says that they just have... It, it doesn't have to be seen by a police officer. That's one of the options. But if they're told to leave yeah, multiple so, times, I have it on camera... And I would like to exercise the right to make a report. The DA is who decides whether it's prosecuted. They have legal training. And I would like it to be able to go forward to the DA. I, I, maybe I don't understand legal process enough, but it seems to me that my right to due process is being denied simply because um, favoritism is being shown to a property owner 
without entertaining the idea that it is possible for a, a, uh, a, a landlord to criminally trespass. So, I mean, there's, there's levels to crime. So there's felonies, misdemeanors, and there's infractions. Um, misdemeanor, this would be a misdemeanor um, penalty. So, I mean, we would have to see him on the property to be able to um, affect the arrest. Can you quote where in the statute it says you have to see him on the property? You did see him on the property, by the way. Um, and he did, it, it was recorded on the 911 call that he wouldn't leave. And it was recorded by my video that he wouldn't leave. Okay. I um, yeah, I'm going to tell you what everyone else has, probably has told you is to contact uh, your attorney and to handle this issue civilly. Okay. And sue him and sue him civilly. For this issue. I can't get a restraining order if I don't have a police report. I need to make my police report. And so can you explain to me why I can't even make a report? To make a report, I understand, is not equivalent to a prosecution. I should have the right to make a report, to make that complaint. Uh, per our policy, our, our, we only write reports on criminal issues. But so a, a criminal misdemeanor is not a, is not a crime. You're you're saying if it's a misdemeanor, it's not a crime. I'm not saying that it's not a crime. I'm saying that to be able to arrest the person, we'd have to see him on the property. And I didn't ask for an arrest. Still, I asked to make a report. Can can I finish? When we do see him, we still have to give him the chance to leave the property with us. There, we have to trespass him from that property, and we have to have those levels to that. To, to be able to arrest somebody on that on that section. I see. So that's that's what the interpretation. Maybe I just we don't understand what, what trespass. Him. We're gonna have to be able to warn him from that property and trespass warn him from that property once he's there. If he leaves prior to that, then because it's gonna be a civil issue. You're gonna have to go to your attorney and sue him civilly for that civil code. So can you verify for me that he was warned not to be on the property? We have to physically warn him, and we have to see him there. To you warn did him. see him here. I have it on video. I did not, I did not personally. I, I mean, I don't know what other officers saw, but I wasn't there. I wasn't no, I know you weren't personally there, but I'm saying the police did see him here personally. So can you verify from what, what sort of a report do you have? Can I get a copy of this report? We have the call history. We have a, a, you can pick up a copy of the call history and I can give you that number. And that's just documentation that you called the police, uh, police showed up and they told you what officer showed up and what the disposition of that call was. And I can give you that number and you can come down to the police department records and obtain a copy of that record and use that as well. Okay, go ahead. Okay, that number is going to be three. One second. Just one minute. I'm going to try and... Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I was correct. It's call history 336. 336. And then it's going to refer to that date time, so on 11 uh, 25 of 2020. So it's 336 11 25 2020? Yep. Is there like a time number, like, you know, time of day or anything else that's connected with it? Ten thirty-seven. Okay, and um, so it, just recapping, it's the, the position of the police department that um, that a police officer must tell someone to leave, and they must refuse to leave, and that a private citizen cannot tell someone to leave. Only a police officer can do that for it to be a crime. 
Well, are, can you tell me, is a police report exclusively for an arrest? So if we're going to file it off to the DA's office, then you have to be, uh, them be filing charges and then the penalty is the form of an arrest. Now, um, so we have to, we have to warn him from the property if we're going to do it and to make an arrest. We have to warn him from the property. He refuses. Then we can go ahead and, and effect an arrest on that. So are police reports I mean, exclusively for, for times when you're going to make arrests? Uh, I'm just trying to understand what the procedure is. You can't make a report if there's not going to be an arrest? Is that We're, we're not going to make a report because it's a civil issue. It's not because it's not where we're making How do you know if it's civil if you haven't seen the video? I mean, I'm going to tell you it's going to be a lot easier to go through the civil court on this and sue him for this. That wasn't and my question. That was not my question. My question was how can you determine that it's civil if you have not seen my evidence? Yeah, one second, ma'am. The yes. restraining order that you were uh, trying to obtain. Now, no, I'm being, I'm in the belief that you tried to get criminal restraining order, right? I think it would be. I'm not sure if it's criminal or civil. I think it's a civil restraining order for harassment. Because you, you do not need a police report in any regard to try to obtain a civil harassment order, and that's the type of uh, restraining order that would be issued by the court in a situation like this it is a civil matter due to him being a landlord at the property and due to you know the because frankly I, my partner and i we weren't there we don't know if this is the first time we've ever spoken to you regarding this issue right i understand but where. like i'm saying i have video evidence that could be reviewed and i'm not being g- given the opportunity and I, I i i when i read maybe i'm misunderstanding the statute and maybe i do have to get an attorney but uh, when I read the statute, my understanding was a police officer didn't have to tell them to leave. If they've been asked to leave and they refuse to leave, then that, uh, that crosses into the, the boundary of, of uh, criminal trespass. Yeah, okay, so I'm going I'm to give you an example real quick, right? Because we, we deal with trespassing all the time, especially working downtown. So we, so say we go to a McDonald's or a like, gas station, right? And we show up and somebody says, a, uh, you know, they're the owner, they're the rightful owner, you're the rightful owner of this house, correct? So because you are a tenant and you have a lease agreement within there and you formed residency at that location. So you show, so we show up and we're at McDonald's and a guy is standing inside saying, and they want them to trespass. You have the legal right to have that person trespass from that location. Now, if that person refuses to leave at that moment in time, that is where they are now arrestable for Penal Code 602. Does it so does a misdemeanor are misdemeanors always a cause for arrest? I mean, can you have a misdemeanor criminal offense for which they're cited but not arrested? Yeah. Okay. So a oh, so they can't be cited. They can't be cited unless they refuse to leave at the request of a police officer. Is what you're saying? If they leave voluntarily, yes, they will not be. No criminal charges will be pressed. So and if I they leave voluntarily, control. but what, it requires, I'm, I'm, so what we do on what we do on our side is then from there we go and we put it into our system. When we put a thirty day, what's called thirty day trespass on that person at that location, right? So I run John Doe, and I, you know, I, it shows in our system that John Doe is now trespassed from McDonald's. Now if he goes back there in the next thirty days. He well, he's immediately arrestable for six oh two because we've already given previously given him a warning. So, so has my landlord been given warning? He has not because 
we have not contacted him at that location. And here's the issue, too. Due to him being the actual owner of the property, that's where, that's where it comes into a civil issue of trespassing. Due to him being the owner of the property, we can't go and say, okay, well, we're going to trespass you from this location. That's where you need to go get an attorney and get the uh, civil harassment or, and make sure that everything's correct within your lease agreement within that because we can't go in and trespass. If we catch him on the property, you say, hey, I don't want this guy here anymore. We can put a 30-day trespass on him, but not if we don't catch him at that location. It doesn't matter. Even but he was here. And all that. Okay, but I'm what? saying he was here, and I have video of him being here simultaneously with police. Yes. And no, it and doesn't so really make sense but because yeah, I, I am yeah. I am the leaseholder and I have a right to privacy. And he was asked to leave and he didn't. But I I I understand that's what you're taught and that's what you believe. And it doesn't seem that there's any. Uh... So here's also here's also a thing. How do I know? We have to be able to prove everything without a reasonable doubt, right? So how do I know, one hundred percent, that he did not give notice that he's coming over and. So because I have office, the right? notice. The notice is for something else, and I can provide you that, and I should be allowed to present evidence, just like he was allowed to present evidence. Yeah, so that's where this all comes into a civil issue, man. This is no longer a criminal issue at this point because it's hearsay. And we're, we're it's not hearsay. It's on video. Yeah, You're saying video is hearsay? How do we know he wasn't allowed on the property? Because there's, there's – no, it's not hearsay. There's, there's, there's written evidence. I mean, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I'm a, man, sorry, it's, it's Officer Herman again. So, okay, this, so who was the other officer that I was talking to? So I've got two officers that are talking to me, and why am I speaking yeah, that, to two? That officer Cutler was just speaking, it's Officer Herman again. Officer Cutler, okay. Yeah. So the, here's the issue. When it becomes, he's the owner of the property, so... When it comes to him coming onto the property, he does have to give notice under the civil section, correct? So, if he is on the property and he's doing something and he's still technically the owner, we can't trespass somebody from their own property. So, that's under, like, the criminal section. We can't trespass somebody from their, their own property. We can't arrest somebody on their own property. But we don't know the lease agreement. The lease agreement and those types of issues are all done through civil court. Those are all civil issues that he does have to provide notice. So the position property. is, no matter what a landlord does, um, and, unless it uh, escalates to violence, um, he can do anything he wants. Because no, he can't. Because you could sue him. You could sue him but, for but, violating your civil But criminally. Rights. Criminally, you're saying I I can't call the police uh, uh, if my landlord does anything unless he assaults me. No, but you're going to have to document it and take the civil court and sue him because we can't trespass somebody and arrest somebody for trespassing if he owns the property. Uh, and you can't issue and 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 the, you the can't owner. issue a report and let the DA decide that. We we can't write a report and. So, re so it, it may be my, pardon my ignorance. So if I'm understanding correctly, what you're stating is that maybe I, I'm lacking some vocabulary and the call report is all that's needed and that, um, that uh, making a, a quote um, report is only happens when there is a quote arrest. No, that's not true. I'm saying that this is a civil issue because he is the owner of the property. He showed up on your property and he violated a civil section. How, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not okay. I, I, I hear you. Um, I, I'm not. It doesn't sound like I'm going to persuade you, and I'm don't understand why I'm not allowed to present my evidence. But I, I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to get you to understand that I can't enforce somebody from staying on their own property. It's, it's not issue. what the Are statute we... says, um, but that I, that that should be a matter that should be adjudicated. But I I, I think that you're misapplying the law unequally and inappropriately. Um, but I understand that's how you've been instructed, and you're you're acting in good faith based on what your understanding of the law is and your beliefs. So I I ex I accept. Experience. I'm sorry. What? I said, and also our training experience with dealing with this type of issue every single night. So based on our training experience, this is also what this law constitutes, if that makes sense. 
Well, not being able to present my evidence does not uh, does not convince me that my rights to due process are not being violated. But I understand that you don't believe you're violating my due process rights. So I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you have to go a different avenue. We are the incorrect avenue to take this further. You need to take this to civil court. We cannot enforce civil law. I don't believe it's civil law, but I accept that you do not, you do not believe that it's criminal law. I, I believe that the actions uh, passed over into criminal, and I also am hearing that you will not view my video and you will not view my, um, my documentation, that you're claiming it's hearsay without even knowing what it is. So that's I'm fine. Saying that you, I'm saying that you need to take this to civil court. You're taking this to the wrong avenue. You need to take this to the proper uh, procedure. I, I, I hear you, and I understand that I'm not allowed to call the police on my landlord because he owns the property, and if he does anything here, no matter what it is, unless I'm, you know, being physically assaulted, it's um, it's all civil, according to you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying but trespassing and not giving proper notice and showing up on your property is a civil issue. He is technically the owner. A trespass, the definition of trespass from what I read was refusal to leave, at, you know, when you're told to leave. So property, it's not the showing up, but it's the... Property. You can't tell somebody to leave their own property. He's leasing it to you. It becomes a civil issue. He's technically the owner. If he was not the owner and he showed up on your property, that's different. That's trespassing. But if he's the lawful owner of that property, he has leased it to you, it becomes a civil issue. There's a contract between you and him. He has violated that contract. You need to sue him for violating that contract that you have an agreement with him. I, I understand your position. I don't agree with it. And I understand that I can't make a report because we have a difference of opinion. I, I'm just advising you what the law states. That's not what the law states. But that's fine. Okay, that's okay. goodbye.